So our matchup for today will be between the X-Men Wolverine and the Ruthless Deathstroke. Who would win and why? Let's find out. Wolverine's primary power is his accelerated healing process, which enables him to regenerate damaged or destroyed tissue with far greater efficiency than an ordinary human. The regeneration takes no more than few seconds or minutes, but generally depends on how severe the damage is. His skeleton was reinforced with the virtually indestructible metal adamantium. While the adamantium in his body stops or reduces many injuries, his healing factor must also work constantly to prevent metal poisoning from killing him. On one occasion, Wolverine survived the nuclear bomb dropped on Hiroshima. He was in the middle of a fight when he saw the plane coming. The plane dropped the bomb and the explosion annihilated everything, including Wolverine himself. But his healing kicked in and he regenerated most of the tissues in matter of panels. His healing enabled him to survive blows from the most powerful beings in the Marvel Universe, including the enraged World War Hulk, although it took Wolverine some time to recover from the Hulk's blows to his head. In a Thor vs. Wolverine story, Thor was forced to fight a mind-controlled Wolverine by Loki. Wolverine was manipulated to see his friends as his enemies. In close combat, Wolverine managed to hurt Thor with his adamantium claws. Thor was forced to hit Wolverine with lightning, and until the last minute, Wolverine thought he was fighting Sabretooth and not Thor. The lightning broke the spell and cleared Wolverine's mind, but didn't cause him any noticeable damage, thanks to his incredible durability and healing factor. He has withstood heavy gunfire on several occasions. His adamantium brain-force skeleton, along with his accelerated healing, enable him to survive heavy gunfire and to continue fighting and overpowering his enemies. Wolverine's deadliest weapon is his adamantium reinforced claws, which can cut almost any known solid material. The only known exceptions are adamantium itself and Captain America's shield. He can cut superpowered beings with very high durability, including the Hulk, Thor, the Thing, Colossus, and Gladiator, among many others. Wolverine possesses super strength, stamina, durability, and speed. His strength is augmented due to the presence of over 50 kilograms of adamantium bonded to his skeleton, which also removes the natural limitations of the human skeletal structure by allowing him to lift weights that would damage a human skeleton. Wolverine is shown strong enough to swing Dragon Man into a wall by his tail. Dragon Man weighs more than three tons. He has been depicted with sufficient strength to break steel chains. In this scan, he breaks thick chains forged from the hardest steel money can buy. In addition to his superhuman abilities and due to his extensive training as a soldier, a CIA operative, a samurai and a member of the X-Men, Logan is an exceptional martial artist. He has mastered 15 forms of martial arts and learned almost every fighting style on earth. He is good enough to match the best fighters in the Marvel Universe, including Iron Fist and Shang-Chi. Wolverine once beat Iron Fist in a sparring match. Iron Fist demands Wolverine not using his clothes, and Wolverine demands Iron Fist not using the power of his fist. They spar until Wolverine finally overpowered the Iron Fist. On another occasion, he beat Shang-Chi after a short fight. The master of Kung Fu admitted that he has rarely seen anyone fighting like Wolverine. Wolverine smells that Shang-Chi is surprised, as he never fought an opponent with enhanced animal senses, accelerated healing factor, and sharp claws. Wolverine recently came back in the hunt for Wolverine number one. I made a review about this issue on the second channel. Check out the annotation in the end of the video. Now Deathstroke, on the other hand, possesses super strength, stamina, durability, speed, reflexes, and healing, granted by an experimental serum. 
He has the capacity to use up to 90% of his brain at one time, making him a tactical genius. He proved himself to be one of the best fighters in the US Army, and through his martial arts training, he would be later a master of multiple martial arts, such as boxing, karate, judo, and jiu-jitsu. Deathstroke is known for defeating Batman the first time they met. They battled for long until Deathstroke proved to be physically superior. One of his greatest battles ever is the one in which he fought the Justice League. He presented some incredible feats of speed and reflexes when he managed to take down the Flash himself by protecting his moves and stabbing him. The average person uses 10% of his brain potential capacity. Slade uses almost 90. By the time they react, he is already a dozen moves ahead. Deathstroke also possesses a healing factor that enables him to recover from physical injury much faster than a normal person, but it's nowhere close to that of Wolverine. In addition to his physical enhanced abilities, Deathstroke is a master marksman. He is trained in the use of pistols, rifles, and shotguns, among many other weaponry. He has been shown using high-tech equipment, such as the armor called the Icon Suit, which works as a gravity sheath. When attacked, the armor hardens up specific areas of the suit to protect the wearer from bullets and powerful blows, and the energy packed into such small area results in shock waves that would kill humans instantly. What most of you don't know is that Wolverine confronted Deathstroke and briefly fought him in the Uncanny X-Men and the new Teen Titans one-shot crossover. In round one, Wolverine managed to punch Deathstroke, but that didn't put him down. When they met again, Deathstroke blasted Wolverine, saying they were even. Then Cyclops took Deathstroke out while he was fighting Wolverine without having a clear winner. So bottom line, I think Deathstroke has a good chance defeating Wolverine in round 1, making use of his ability to use up to 90% of his brain capacity. But Wolverine would definitely come back thanks to his healing factor, so I think he would eventually win the longer battle. Do you think that Wolverine would cut through the icon suit if Deathstroke had it to protect himself from the adamantium claws in a prep time battle? Let me know what you think about it. That was all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to all my channels. Find links in the description box below. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.